Welcome to my unboxing and overview of the ADATA XPG 2.5 inch SATA 3 6 gigabit per second solid state drive. This is their SX900. This is a 128 gig SSD. And that is exceptional for. I don't have my keys on me. That's okay. I'll figure this out. That is exceptional for one major reason, and that is that this is a Sandforce drive. So if you guys are familiar with Sandforce drives already. Aha, here we go. I found a razor blade. So if you guys are familiar with Sandforce drives, you probably know that they don't really come in 64 gig, 128 gig, and 256 gig capacities. Usually they come in 60 gig, 120 gig, and 240 gig capacities. And the reason for that is that Sandforce drives have spare area, so that capacity is on there. NAND chips only come in certain denominations of capacity that usually add up to you know, 16, 32, 64, 128, these are, these are the natural capacities. However, a data, uh, oh right, so Sandforce drives usually have that area tucked away for a couple of reasons. One is better performance over time, so it gives it somewhere to swap data out to that's not really part of the, the logical partition that you have on the drive, so it can speed things up a little bit. And then number two is for better reliability, because if flash or if any of the cells die anywhere else on the SSD, it can actually start to borrow from that spare area to increase the longevity of the drive. So what ADATA had to do to release a 128 gig Sandforce SSD was they had to use a higher quality of binned NAND. So that gives you the well, the extra reliability that you would need in order to not have any spare area. So they've backed it up with a three-year warranty. They've got, uh, what else do they have on here? Sandforce driven, shock resistant, it better be. Trim support, it better have it. Acronis True Image HD, that's kind of cool to have. So, okay, Norton Internet Security is sort of less relevant, but having Acronis True Image HD is cool. You just download it for free, and you can use that in order to uh, clone your current existing drive over to your new SSD. It includes the mounting screws that you need, as well as a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch desktop adapter. Finally, you've got an SSD quick start guide, as well as, oh, hold on, this might have like a key on it or something, in which case. Free software overview, this release is compatible with XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and just shows you what to do. Cool. 16 digit download key. So yeah, you just download it from the, uh, from the ADATA website. Alright, so let's have a look at the SSD itself. It has a pretty slick overall look, so you've got your brushed, uh, brushed metal finish going on on the top as well as the sides. It looks very nice. Got like, you know, a label with some shiny gold going on. Uh, you got all your usual mounting holes, so it's going to work in your laptop as well as your desktop as long as you don't have, you know, a MacBook Air or something that uses uh, like a, not a two and a half inch standard drive. Warranty void if broken, so you don't want to go opening this thing up. And yeah, there we did it. We showed the Acronis True Image HD key. There it is. Uh, whatever. Okay, so thank you guys for checking out this unboxing and first look. So the important things to take away from this are that ADATA has delivered a higher capacity drive, although the the extra there is extra cost associated with using a more reliable NAND. The extra cost should I'll compensate for the, or you should be able to compensate for the extra cost with the extra capacity you get. So you actually do get an extra 8 gigs of capacity, which is about, what, 6.5% or so. Thanks for checking out this unboxing, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.